Welcome to the uh, Easy Computer Fixes channel and uh, this is a video for Bitdefender um, Total Security 2015 antivirus and another um, you know video in which we are testing antivirus software. Bitdefender Total Security 2015 is not as popular as many other antiviruses that I've seen <clears throat> but um, it is still, uh, I see it, you know, regularly in clients' computers. It's a complete suit, so the Total Security 2015, sorry, is the equivalent to Norton 360 and McAfee Total Protection. So it really checks everything, it has all sorts of tools. Um, this is the 30-day trial that I actually installed, because I didn't want to pay for it. I'm not going to keep this. Um... It has regular protection. Once it's installed, what's cool is that it has this little widget on the bottom right of your screen that lets you know uh, actually if you are protected and everything is okay. And that I like because the problem with a lot of antivirus uh, software is that you don't have much of a look into how it's working. I like to have a real-time look at my protection. For example, Windows Defender and Windows 8 has a major problem. You don't see it. You don't see a visual of how it works. Uh, well, this one, of course, it has its bit defender icon, the red square with a B inside, but I think it's a nice little feature to add that widget here to uh, your desktop that at least lets you know that it's working and doing something. Um, it has regular protection for antivirus. You can do quick scans, system scans of all sorts. It has uh, web protection where it's going to check for phishing sites, scam sites, and protect you from anything that's bad. Vulnerabilities are checked also, so you can um, make sure that you know Windows updates are on, and uh, it's going to tell you if you have weak passwords when you type in a password for a website that you are subscribing for example uh, has full firewall which will uh, block and uh, check for uh, port scans and block them and also you can actually monitor Wi-Fi connections this is good if you have more than one computer if there's more than one person using your Wi-Fi network could be a nice feature to just add Intrusion detect detection is um, to make sure that nobody's you know trying to hack into your computer and everything is secure and anti-spam for email and um, it goes even a little more far than that not just for email but even for your social sites which is nice. It has privacy for data protection as a file shredder you can uh, you know delete a file and make sure that nobody else can ever ever see it. Uh, there's a wallet where you can actually, uh, you know, create wallets where you'll put your um, all sorts of, you know, personal information, passwords and stuff. SafePay is a great feature which lets you open in a Bitdefender browser any banking sites that you might go to or if you are going to do some online purchases. This is a really really nice option that actually I love a lot about Bitdefender. So you can click here, open a browser and you know what I can't show you because if I open a browser for banking sites you'll only see a black screen because it really 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 isolates this window from anything else in the computer. It's what we call sandboxed. So I think it's a great add-on but be careful you know, security is never 100%. If you've got a, a keylogger, for example, in your computer, well, that's not going to work because the keylogger is still going to be able to see what you're typing in your keyboard. But it does increase protection. And I think this is a great, great option. And actually, when you go to a website, it actually asks you, do you want to actually use SafePay? So, for example, if I go to Bank of America website, it asks you, you see here at the bottom right, do you want to work with uh, SafePay? And if you say yes, it will open its own browser. 
uh, that you can actually do your banking or your um, online shopping through it, which is nice. Parental control, of course, for uh, blocking porn sites and stuff like that. Adult, adult websites. Uh, has file encryption, so you got a file vault where you can put files if you want to keep them from, uh, you know, you have secret files that you want to keep from anybody using your computer, which is nice. It has the regular tools, uh, one-click optimizer, which will tune up your computer at just one click. Startup optimizer, which will actually check for anything that starts up with your computer. Um, gives you the load time. Here it says 2 minutes 48. The funny thing about this is that big part of that loading time is actually Bitdefender, and I'll come to that a little later. And it doesn't, of course, say that it is a slow loading antivirus, which is always funny. Uh, please, PC cleanup, which is kind of a C cleaner, has dig disk uh, defragmenter, registry cleaner, registry recovery, and duplicate finder. That's nice. If you have doubles, you can let it find doubles and, you know, remove any double. And uh, it has, of course, uh, save go, which is a nice feature to get uh, safer in Facebook, for example, it's going to let you know when there are things that aren't usual or maybe scams. Uh, Anti-theft, you can actually find out where's your laptop if you have it stolen, but of course you need to have it on a uh, on the internet, it has to be turned on, so um, it's not necessarily that useful. And Safebox, where you can manage uh, folders and files and stuff like that and have them in a secure uh, spot. Uh, what do I think of performance-wise? Um, first of all, it has that same security of the other antivirus. So if I search for something, um, it has these little green check marks in front of everything. It has the same flaws of the others, meaning here it says, for example, on this side that it has, it's okay, but if I click the download of Malwarebytes from this website, which has malware, it will tell me, oh, block this page, there's some malware on it. So, it does its job well, it's just always curious, and I always find it a little special that the check marks is there, even on websites where if you download, it tells you, whoa, there's malware. Um, it detects well what it should. It protects you very well. But keep in mind that you are the number one security. So if you bypass, for example, that little message that says, well, there's malware, you'll have malware, even if you have a uh, antivirus. You have to remember that your the protection, the number one protection is you. Um, as for performance level in the computer, the biggest problem of Bitdefender is the, the, the booting time of the computer. It really, really, really takes a long time for your computer to boot once it's installed. That's the biggest flaw, I think, of Bitdefender. And they should really, really take a look at what they can do to actually increase the speed of the booting time. But uh, contrary to McAfee that is slow everywhere, Bitdefender, once you pass that slow boot time, is actually very fast. And I don't see any uh, slowdown of the internet or anything that I do in my computer once it's installed. And that's a good news. So if you don't mind the slow boot time, um, in real-time protection, it's actually very good, very fast. The computer isn't slowed down. And so it doesn't use as much resources as McAfee does on the computer. Yet, we still have, uh, until now, our number one winner for now is still Norton 360 that I've tested. It doesn't show any uh, slowdown at boot up and it doesn't uh, show any slowdown in general. So uh, the guys at uh, Symantec really did a great job with Norton 360. So um, it's not bad. It's better than McAfee, that's for sure. Uh, but not as good as Norton in the performance 
But as for protection, uh, they're all pretty much the same. They all seem to do a great job. It's mostly in the performance that we have to check. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, maybe you have some problem or something you'd like us to make a video of to help, let us know. We'll try to put that video online. And hopefully, you will come back to the Easy Computer Fixes channel. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.